the Fantastic Beast franchise is likely dead. Holy fucking shit. Finally. Here's the thing. I know I speak for a lot of people when I say this. Nobody wanted these movies. I've never been a fan of any of this to begin with. I don't care about these characters. I don't care about these stories. And I feel like they were all just a big cash grab to capitalize on the popularity of the Harry Potter movies. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was one of those people in the mid-2000s who used to say that the Harry Potter movies are better than the Lord of the Rings. I know, I'm kinda stupid. I admit it, I was a retard. The Fantastic Beast movies are worse than the Hobbit movies. It's almost as if J.K. Rowling is hell-bent on destroying the very creation that she made. Cause check this out. Unlike the Harry Potter movies which were adapted from existing storybooks and novels by J.K. Rowling's, the Fantastic Beasts were mostly made up on the spot by J.K. Rowling's and she was a screenwriter and that was the biggest red flag. J.K. Rowling is an author. She is not a screenwriter. The biggest mistake this movie has made was giving an author who has no experience in writing a movie script the keys to the whole franchise. You're gonna get these movies on making money, but this one nothing, and I mean nothing compared to the Harry Potter movies. Check this out. The Harry Potter movies were averaging around 900,000 per movie. I mean, just look at this massive box office. It even won making a billion dollars. The Deathly Hallows was the highest grossing movie of 2011. To the Fantastic Beasts movie having a low return on investment per every new installment. And remember one important thing guys, these movies don't come cheap. All the Fantastic Beast movies had budget of over 200 million. Not only that, J.K. Rowling for some weird reason made it a personal business to retcon everything that we knew about the Harry Potter movies through stupid tweets and tweaking information in the movies. I mean come on, we get it, you created the stories but as much as you created them, it's more of our property as much as it's yours. You don't just come and say Grindelwald and Dumbledore were siblings, come on. And that was just the movies. Let's look at the real life drama that was happening in this fucking franchise. Warner Brothers, the dumbest studio that planet put a Johnny Depp out of his role and replaced him with this guy I mean don't get me wrong I love Mads Mikkelsen as much as the next guy but come on they fired Johnny Depp but they chose to keep Ezra Miller let that sink in I only saw the first two I didn't even see the last one I was kind of happy that finally I'm seeing a Harry Potter movie like when I'm a teenager but watching it I felt like oh, something's missing something's missing and then when I saw the second movie I saw what's missing it lacked JK Rowling's heart she's already a billionaire why the hell do you need more money is my opinion if this movie had a screenwriter who took a story from J.K. Rowling's, like story by J.K. Rowling's and screenwriter by someone experienced, not J.K. Rowling's. If this movie had different directors apart from David Yates. If this movies were made by a competent studio that's not Warner Brothers who fire actors without evidence and choose to retain problematic actors who have overwhelming evidence against them. If these movies had more soul and more marketing and made more sense and didn't insult our intelligence. If there was a clear roadmap and a clear end goal to these movies and not just installment after installment, maybe just maybe will be invested. Because announcing that you have a five movie plan and you don't see any roadmap by the first two movies, uh, that, that, that doesn't work. So no more Fantastic Beast movies? Great. Fuck yeah, nobody wants them anyway.